All right, kettlebell Ken here. Some basic kettlebell exercises. We have 40 pound kettlebell today. So we're gonna go over some basics. Um, two hand swing. Basically with kettlebells, you want to control the momentum that's ballistic, all right? With the lighter weights, it's easier to cheat with your arms. You see a lot of people, you know, trying to do this with a but really you want to drive the power from your hips and the hip drive. Alright? Kind of hip snap. You want to propel it to about chest, shoulder height. Alright? But it's all in hip drive. Alright, you can see it. Hip snap. Alright. It's almost like if you want to broad jump, you're going to jump. You're going to transfer the energy from your hips to the collar kettlebell. All right, it's all in the hip there. And once you master your two-hand swing, you start doing single arm swing. You're working your core from different angles as you do the rotation. More coordination. And then once you start doing these, Get into high holds, which is a hybrid of a swing and a snap. So I'm going up, I'm pulling back. I'm still harnessing that momentum in the swing. All right. Then if you want to start doing snatches, we'll talk about it first. The snatch, you really want to get that power off your hip drive. So you're driving it up like this. You keep that arm close to your body, all right? Once you get the ball right here, you're gonna punch through, all right? It's kind of like a corkscrew. So my thumbs to the back, bring it up, and I'm punching through. You don't want that bell to flip over. You want to beat it to the top. So when you're right here, punch through, turn your wrist, the bell should go off to the side. All right, if you're flopping it like this, all right, with the lighter weight, it's not gonna hurt. With the heavier weight, you start bruising your form. So, I'm up, I'm up, thumbs to the back, corkscrew it, all right? But still, you wanna harness that momentum from your hip drive, all right? You hike it back like a football. You switch. All right. All right, that's the snatch. You know, eventually, I like doing high volume snatches like every six weeks just to test myself. You know, like with a 60 to 80 pounds, 50 pounds for high volume. You know, 200 reps, 150 reps. You know, it's not something you do all the time, but it uh, just test your, your grip strength, your joint stability, your core stability, because you're using your core to propel that way up and catch it, especially on the way down. Catch that momentum, the belt ball. Um, take some time to get the timing down. Um, once you get the timing, it becomes really fluid in your movement. It's a hard exercise, but a, much, a very beneficial exercise for your overall fitness. You're using your hip drive, Quads, your core, your shoulder, your grip, coordination. It's a great exercise once you get hang of it. So if it's tough in the beginning, don't give up. Just keep working on it. Alright? Another exercise is the clean and press. So I'm getting that momentum. Alright? All I'm really doing is turning my wrist. Alright? It's going into the rack position. Right on my bicep. Alright? I'm not going up like this, throwing it over. Alright? You want to keep it in tight, all right, and press, okay? The tighter you keep it, the less distance that bell is traveling, all right? So this is kind of a hybrid of a snatch and swing too, all right? So use the momentum, turn my wrist, all right, you see that? All I'm doing really flicking my wrist. I use that momentum to get it up. Press.
next to, well, of course, you always know, do goblet squats too. These are good in combination with a complex like the swing, doing like 10 goblets and then 20 swings back to back. So I'm done. And the advantage of the kettlebells, you can go really deep, all right?